So here we are on Shotcut and this is what I'm seeing once I've launched the program and you can see that I have a recent project called Sample over on the right hand side. If you follow my YouTube channel you already know what that project is and you can see that there are the files that are that are a part of that project. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a new project. How we're going to do that is we're going to look at the video mode, we're going to see it's automatic, see where the project file is going to be saved to, give it a name, Let's call it green screen. And then click start. After this point, we're then going to create a video timeline, well, a video track for our timeline. The video track one. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually find our files. I already know that my files are in the downloads folder. I need to find my downloads folder. Oh, I found my downloads folder. <laughs> uh, after this point, I'm just going to select a green screen, well, maybe two green screen elements that I have. And those are an American flag and a Great British flag. There they are, and you can see that the Great the American flag is flying high. I have the Great British flag as well. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to first create another layer because I absolutely forgot that in order to showcase that the green screen has been a success or to measure it, we will need another layer. So I'm going to create another video track. So now we have two video tracks. The green screen is going to be on the top track. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the clouds on the bottom layer. There we go. Dragging the far, the clip to the beginning of the timeline. And then we're going to use the USA flag, the American flag. And the Great British flag. So we have two lots of green screen to work with. So we have two lots of green screen to work with. I'm also going to drag this to the beginning frame of the project. Right, there we go. So if we press play at the moment, you see the American flag and the Great British flag. We're now going to start using green screen. So in order for, to, for us to find green screen, we need to go up to filters tab at the top toolbar I'm going to click filters from here we're going to hit the plus sign and remember that you've actually I've actually selected a clip already I've selected the great British flag because the reason why I know I've selected it is it has a red box highlighting the clip I'm then going to go to filters as I just said yep I'm already on it press the plus sign and we're going to look for our green screen video effect so we want to go to video so now we're on video and we have chroma, chroma key advanced and chroma key simple. For this first clip, we're going to use chroma key simple. And I've clicked that and quite easily it has taken away most of the green from our green screen. Now because this is a simple chroma key, you can actually see that the distance away from the edge of the shot is still not perfect you can still see a green outline of what's left of the green screen so you can actually move the distance of this and that will change the effect the effects effectiveness now let's give that a play looking great looking brilliant a really easy chroma key effect there I can't see much green in that shot and to the untrained eye, they can also not see any green in that shot. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to have a look at the advanced chroma keying. So we're going to click on the American flag. We're going to go to filters. Oops, hold on a second. There we go. We're going to go to filters. We're going to add a filter. And then we're going to go to chroma key advanced. See now at this point, there are more options that we can play around with in the shot in terms of this effect. Now you have the red delta, green delta, blue delta. 
Now I'm not sure how to use these controls just yet, but at least for now I've shown you uh, what it looks like when you're trying to chroma key using the advanced chroma key. One thing I know that you can do is this is a colour selection tool and this will allow you to select the type of green and the exact colour that you want to remove. So if I was to click it like I just have and then click on the green, that will then remove the green from the shot that I have selected. And it looks like that this type of shot doesn't actually need an advanced chroma keying. It may just need a simple chroma keying as there is not much complications in terms of where the green is appearing or the spill level of the shot. In order to then remove a chroma key effect, you would just click the minus on the effects panel. So isn't it amazing that nowadays you can actually chroma key a green screen using a free software? I mean, once upon a time, you would have wished for something like that, you know, like only movie makers had this once upon a time, like, you know, it's really expensive to chroma key green screen and now it's available for, for free. So if you enjoyed this video in whatever shape or form, definitely give me a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you or you just enjoyed watching the video and seeing that you can actually chroma key green screen within a free video editing software nowadays and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I upload every single day here on Anthony Allen edits and it's definitely worth hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell because you don't want to miss the things that I'm giving away and the knowledge that I'm giving you here on this YouTube channel so I'd love to see you in the next video here on the channel as I upload every single day and I'll see you in that upload and definitely hit me in the comment section if you have any questions as well. Don't forget that as well, guys. Hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions here about the subject or something surrounding the subject that we're talking about here in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.